God led his people to a campsite with no water. Now you can see this in the middle of verse 1. They moved by stages according to the commandment of the Lord and encamped at Rephidim. There have been two other stages, Dothka and Alush. He doesn't mention them. He's got one goal in mind, get them to Rephidim. And Rephidim has one significance, no water. That's where you go. That's where you camp. That's where I take you. God is commanding these movements, not Moses. And he gets them to Rephidim exactly where he wants them. If you're a Christian, that's your life. God works all things according to the counsel of his will, Ephesians 1.11. If God wills, we will live and do this or that. James 1.15, 4.15. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Job 1.21. Our God is in the heavens and he does all that he pleases. Psalm 115, verse 3. Hundreds of you, hundreds of you came to this conference encamped at Rephidim. And there is no water. As far as you can see, there's wilderness in every direction. And from a human standpoint, your circumstances are going to end badly. There is no human way out. And this text says you are not there by accident. Your ways are ordered by the Lord, Proverbs 20, verse 24. One of the purposes of these seven verses and this sermon is to help you see and feel that's good news. 